Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome to another video here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. In this video today we're going to be looking at some great new features that are coming to version 2 of the electronic flight bag from the Flyby Wire team and an old, some would say, essential feature from FSX is now being made available in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. So let's hop on board and have a look at the new EFB. So at the moment, at the time of this video being filmed, this version 2 of the electronic fly bag or the fly pad from fly by wire is not yet available for download. So let me stress that this is a pre-release version that I'm having a look at today. And once it has all been thoroughly tested, it will of course be made by available by the fly by wire team for you to, uh, to enjoy in, uh, in the simulator. So the first thing that I would like to bring to your attention is one that has been uh, a little bit of a bugbear of, uh, of mine uh, particularly during starting live streams and that is the Simreef username always needed re-inputting didn't it and as far as I can tell when I've been messing around with this the uh, the Simreef username is now remembered no more having to type that in every time so that's going to be uh, a great little time saver and also stops with breaking the immersion as well so that's nice to see that that uh, that has been uh, that has been fixed one of the other things that I really like, if we come uh, onto the OFP page, the Operational Flight Plan, is just have a look at how this is all laid out. This is now a carbon copy of the paper version of the electronic flight bag. Normally, when we uh, when we fly, we see we do have all the information there, but it's not laid out quite as neatly as we can see here. This is exactly almost like a PDF uh, in digital format now on the EFB, making things really clear, really easy to see. So that is very, very nice. One of the other things which is coming as well is we know Navigraph charts are on their way, but one of the things I really like, the little calculator, coming soon, we've had the top of descent calculator for a while, but the landing calculator is also imminent as well. I believe they're also looking at a takeoff uh, performance calculator too. I'm sure that will be uh, revealed in due course. And when this is all made fully available, I will be doing a tutorial on how we use the landing calculator and what all the values mean so we can interpret them uh, correctly. Now, on to the next thing, which I think is fantastic. And as a single pilot crew in the simulator many of you are going to find this essential if you fly on VATSIM so we'll see now we've got a uh, sort of radio control tower icon just uh, here and if we select this we now have a page showing all the VATSIM controllers uh, that are currently in range and it also tells us what our active frequency is so the great thing as well that I like about this is you can select these and it automatically tunes your radio to them. So if I just come out of here, there we go. We can hear traffic on uh, Vienna approach. So if I come down there, we'll see 134675, of course, is now tuned. 134675. And if we change to the next frequency, we can see Vine radar on 1326 again just check that works beautifully and of course Unicom which will be there all the time now you're perhaps wondering how is this going to help you well of course it saves having to have a look to see who's online in your vpilot client the way that I currently do this to see uh, what air traffic controllers are uh, are currently around and of course the other thing if you're on departure and you need to um, you need to do a couple of frequency changes of course you can uh, have them set in the standby if you know that you're going to be changing to a departure frequency after you've uh, taken off uh, of course the other thing that is now with a click of a button you're tuned to whichever frequency you need to get to as a single per pilot crew this is a fantastic feature and no more having to look down here tune your uh, tune your frequencies uh, whilst missing out on what the aircraft is actually doing during an essential time of, uh, of flying the aircraft. So, well done to fly by my team. I can't wait to see that introduced into the, uh, into the aircraft fully. 
So then, what about this old FSX feature? Well, those of you that are familiar with Microsoft Flight Simulator will have been uh, used to being able to press the Shift Z key to get a lot of information about your aircraft, the position, the weather, and it also had an FPS monitor in there as well. So this is now a mod that is available from flightsim.to and I'll pop a link into the uh, into the video description for you to check out as well. If you now press, once you've got this installed in your community folder, if you now press the Shift Z, we get the old red text that many of us was, were used to seeing in uh, FSX. It obviously gives you your latitude, longitude coordination as well as your altitude as well and also gives you the wind in a nice easy to read instant uh, format. A second click will give you the current frames per second, your fuel and something which many of us have been crying out for as well, the sim rate. Because you've been able to increase the sim rate and decrease the sim rate ever since the uh, simulator was released but there was nowhere to actively monitor it so you ended up having to use uh, the, the timer in the aircraft and see how fast the seconds were moving to try and gauge what your uh, what the sim rate was well now we actually have it you can s increase decrease the sim rate and monitor it using this handy new little plugin a quick uh, press of shift Z again and it just gives you all the information that uh, that you can see click it once more and it gets rid of it one of the things I would recommend however is going through your controller key binding setups and clearing out anything which has shift Z in it or even Z in it in case you uh, just click Z by mistake which is by default set to your autopilot so the last thing you want to be doing is cycling through these and engaging and disengaging your autopilot that would not lead to a nice smooth flight. This is created by Ambitious Pilots. They're the same guys that have created the uh, the toolbar pushback uh, which you will have seen me use in, uh, in live streams as well. So well done to those guys. Great little feature and will they use it? Possibly not as much as I would have done in old FSX but having the frames per second which for those of you who like to monitor it this is the fastest way that you're able to look at your frames per second inside the uh, inside the game without having to go into de developer mode and things and I think it's just a great feature it's certainly something that I will keep installed whether I use it or not remains to be seen but definitely definitely useful Thanks for watching guys, if you have any comments please leave them uh, on the video down below and I'll get back to you if you have any questions. Please do consider hitting the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and turn on the notification bell as well so you don't miss any new videos and of course live streams. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video, thanks very much for watching, bye bye.